Damn, okay. Now listen, this video is to answer a lot of you guys questions on always ask me do I think if Chris Jones is natural pump chaser and is he natural and this and that. And I never ever um reply on that. One reason is because I didn't know much about Chris Jones. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't um um following him through his social media until just weeks ago. Now, from what I've been observing, I know I know body types. I know when somebody is on, I know when somebody is off. I know when somebody was on a cycle before, I can tell. Those that's been on gear can always tell. But I'm going to just be flat out honest with you guys. That dude is 100% natural. Now, this is the thing. A lot of people claim they natural, they natural, they natural. This dude is 100% natural. How do I know? Is because I follow his daily routines through his Instagram stories. I watch how the man eat. I can see the texture of his skin. I can see how he's training. You know, I can see that a whole lot closer through his Instagram versus his YouTube videos. And this man is strict with his diet. Although he get his little cheats in here and there, you know, with his Oreos and his cheeses and he like to smoke his, his weed and all of that, which is all right with me because I drink. So whatever can help a person relax and give them a big appetite, I'm all for it. And I can honestly say the man counts his sodium. He counts all his micros. He counts his calories he counts his fats he counts his his uh his sugars he counts everything and then his meals are scheduled on time he's really strict he's he's strict when it comes to his programming when it puts into his body so it's a it's 100 percent uh reachable when you have great genetics and a really great diet plan whether your diet is consist of a lot of cheap meals or whether your diet is in, in consist of a lot of clean meals. And I can say, this man, he mix it all. He mix it all. And he found out what works for him. And I, for one, uh, can honestly say that I'm proud of everything that he accomplished and how he go about it. Because he's juggling all this with a new baby. Him and his wife, he's juggling this with a new baby. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I, I raise my kids. I stay with my kids. I do the whole school thing, you know, the homework thing and all of that. Um, so I know the challenges that he has to face, that, that's to come to face and all that. You know, his challenges is about to come. It's going to be real difficult. But from what I'm saying, he's attacking that shit. He's attacking that shit like an animal. So to so everybody out there that's against it and don't believe that the man is natural you heard it from mac truck and y'all know for a fact that i always give it to you raw and uncut honest gun barrel straight you know and i know a lot of y'all probably like well how you know he's natural how you know you're not witty when he he's a short dude he's not a really big dude for one you know what i'm saying he comes off um superb on camera you see what I'm saying? His pictures and all of that. But he's a he's he's a little dude with a lot of muscle. You see what I'm saying? He probably had like some 17 and a half inch arms or some shit like that. But they look like 22s. You see what I'm saying? And it's because he has very minimal body fat. His body fat got to be probably down to like a six or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Or... Uh, are high five so he's definitely doing his shit right so um i don't see no need for him to ever even jump on gear now as he get older and shit and he want to raise his testosterone levels okay he got test boosters he could pct like oh not pct he could on um, trt or whatever but it would be no need for him to be trying to do all that to make his physique enhance even more because his physique looks 95% better than dudes that's on gear, you know? So 
Um, if Chris, if you watching this motherfucker, man, I commend you, my guy. You know what I'm saying? You making natural look really good because when I used to be 100% natural, people thought I was always on gear. And um, I made the mistake with falling into the whole category of once you do NPC, you got to go to the dark side and all of that shit. So you you and you in your own lane, you doing your own thing. So you don't need me to even, you know, to give you props. You don't need me to do none of that shit. So to everybody out there that's been waiting for me to make this video about if this man is natural or not, you heard it from me that he's natural. 100% with a very strict diet and he's still party that boy went out on New Year's uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's and shit after training at the gym spent time with the baby in Hawaii cooked up a few meals when he said he was gonna go out I thought he was bullshit and I'm like man this motherfucker is really in a club and then he was back home late and back up early in the morning you know what I'm saying he's a machine He's a motherfucking wrecking ball. He's a machine. He's doing his thing. So, that's all I got. Now, on the end of this video, I know it don't have nothing to do with you, Chris. You know what I'm saying? Or the people that want to know, it don't have nothing to do with Chris. Now, I know a lot of you guys knew that I was building a Harley or whatever throughout the summer of last year. And y'all know that I completed it and took it to the Anaheim Fit Expo, put it in my booth and all of that. Now... Y'all also know that I was keeping my bike at my buddy house in Long Beach because, um, as y'all see, I didn't have much room in my garage. I had boxes and shit around, and I made a little space for my weight bench. And then I said, "Fuck it, I might as well just bring my bike home." So I'm um, about to put a video clip of the end of this video of my bike, so y'all can see that I built it when I say. Boat by boat, screw by screw, washer by washer, fucking um, gasket by gasket. From the ground up, I built this bike from the ground up. And I know y'all like, man, how do some, how much do something like that cost? It cost me a lot of money. And I'm not fit to blow smoke up y'all ass. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I put over 30000 into this bike over the summertime well really no i'm pulling y'all legs i started building the bike in may and i completed the bike the beginning of august right before the expo i completed the bike with everything from re-chroming um screws when got screws and bolts and washers and all of that from uh harley davidson and whatever re-chromed them and all of this, which the detailing is superb, but I didn't get into all the detail work because my my homeboy, Freddie, he pulls up on his bike because he didn't know that I had stuff in the garage. He just always see the white pickup truck and the Armada in a driveway. So he thought that that's all I had. So he was like, damn, man, you've been holding out on me. Like, dude, you can never judge a book by its cover. He said, here it is. I thought you was just barely making it. With just the pickup truck and a family car. He was like, damn, dude. I'm like, so that goes to show a lot of people's that um, I don't have to boast and brag about what I have to make it seem like I'm better than the next. Because here it is. I was building this bike for four months or some shit like that and put thousands and thousands of dollars into it. I could have easily document made videos of me going to the rim shop designing my rims customly like oh here go three grand for the front and back rim just two freaking rims like i could have easily showed off with money we're going to get the seat done we're going to the to my painter and all of this but it's not about showing off um what i might feel is better than the next person when in reality is not so that's why i didn't give it to you guys that way because i could care less i put all this money into that bike because i wanted the bike to be that way it's not my first bike you guys know that i sold rich my last road king that i um, pretty much designed for him and everything so um it's not my first bike and it's not going to be my last i hope you guys enjoy this video 
once again chris my man i enjoy your content my bro i enjoy your instagram because it's always something up there interesting that get me fired back up to get eat that next meal because i have a problem with eating a lot of food i have a problem with eating and staying on top of my meals but when i see your shit it get me inspired to go in that kitchen whip something up get the micros down and go out and do my shit anyway it's the people's champ giving it to you gun barrel straight y'all know what that means it's raw and uncut no filter no lies no bullshit no gimmicks so i'll be hollering at y'all later Kick, kick, kick. Bow, bow, bow. bike that I've been building all summer. Those that follow me on Instagram seen the progress. Yeah. Yeah, free. They got a semi stashed in the, in the background, too. <laughs> hey, yeah. Look at you. You know you ain't right. <laughs> you just have been holding off. You thought it was just the white truck. Yeah. You ain't holding on, man. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Shit, I built it from the ground up. Oh, yeah? Yep, did it over the summer. It took a little time, but it was worth it in the end. Uh, darn me. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, we know now. <laughs> it's Fred. It's Fred. Say, that's Fred. That's my boy, Fred, right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's Fred. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we, oh, he got a white truck in the, in the family car. Yeah. Okay. Uh-uh. There's always some shit going on. <laughs> this man got it going. Oh, nice big. We got them all here. <laughs> in, the, in the cut, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Never, never. Hey, Fred. Never judge a book by the you cover. Never judge a book by its color. <laughs> I'm proud of you, man. I, I like this. Yeah, appreciate that.